There's a ton of really cool projects you can build with the Raspberry Pi Zero and the Raspberry Pi camera module. But few of them are going to be as fun as this, the Raspberry Pi Pixie gift camera. The Pixie camera was developed by Nick and Shayna Brewer. It looks like a classic disposable camera, but this one records gifts. Start by 3D printing the camera body. Depending on your settings, this can take up to a full day, so get this started while you do the rest of the work. Try to pick some fun colors so your camera looks amazing. For this project, we'll be using the Raspberry Pi Zero with the camera module. Download Raspbian and then flash it onto an SD card, and then connect it to your network to power it up. Open a terminal window to the Pi and update the operating system. With the updates in place, install Pi Camera, Graphics Magic, and Git Core, and then clone the Git repo for the Pixie camera. Optionally, install Twython if you want your Pixie camera to upload GIFs directly to Twitter. By default, the Pixie camera will save its GIFs to the microSD card. Modify the Launcher SH script if you want to change this to either of these commands. Now that we have the software installed, we need to set it up to run automatically as soon as the Pi boots. Run the command sudo crontab-e and add this line to the end of that file. That's it! The software setup is complete. You'll wire the electronic components separately, and then assemble them into the camera body and finally solder them to the Raspberry Pi Zero. First, wire the PowerBoost 500C like you see here. Next, wire the illuminated push button and don't forget to add the inline resistor. Add another LED that will report the status of the camera along with another resistor. Before assembling your camera, gently tap all of the screw holes using the M2.5 screws. It'll make the assembly that much easier. Attach the Raspberry Pi camera module to the front of the camera using the M2 screws. Then attach the front to the camera body. Make sure the ribbon cable is oriented correctly and use caution, it's fragile. Attach the LiPo battery to the camera body using hot glue. Then attach the PowerBoost 500C power supply to the board using the case using the M2.5 screws. Do not plug the battery into the power board just yet, save that for the end. Finally, hot glue the status LED into place and install the push button. Attach the ribbon cable to the Pi Zero, and then hold the Zero roughly in its place with a set of helping hands, but don't mount it yet. Your soldering will be much easier. Wire the push button, power board, and status LED to the Pi Zero as shown in this wiring diagram. Connect the PowerBoost 5 volt power output directly to the Pi's GPIO pins, and then solder the GND and EN pins to the rocker switch on the back of the camera. Make sure the switch is off and plug the battery into the power boost board. Nothing should happen. If you turn the switch on, the board's blue on light should come on. If everything looks good, mount the Pi to the camera body. Test it out, and if everything's working, close it up using the M2.5 screws. Go and have fun! Your Pixie GIF camera charges up quickly through the Adafruit PowerBoost micro USB port on the left side of the camera. On a full charge, it should last about 7 hours of continuous usage. For an extra bit of flair, print out one of the colorful sleeves and seal it around the camera using some double-sided tape. Here's how the camera works. Switch it on using the big rocker switch. Wait for the red status LED to begin blinking on the back of the camera. Aim the camera at your subject matter and then hold the top button down to begin filming. The blinking LED will turn solid for 4 seconds and then shut off. When the LED starts blinking again, it's ready for the next gift. 